Ah, there you are. I was beginning to think they'd forgotten this time. Searching these lonely woods is such a bore, you know. And it's not like they bother to leave you somewhere easy to find. Perhaps they were hoping I wouldn't find you at all. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter now because here you are. Hello, darling. May I have your name? No need to be so rude. After all, you do belong to me now. I think an introduction is the least you can give me, considering your situation. But, if you're insistent on being stubborn, fine. Darling works just as well. Now, let's take a look at you. Oh my, look how tightly they've tied you. And these bruises. Ugh. You certainly fought hard to stay away from here, didn't you? Poor thing. The ropes are probably for the best, though. You look like you try to bolt as soon as you were free. This way, we can talk. Hurt you? <laughs> now, where did you get such a foolish idea? No, darling, I'm not going to hurt you. What would I gain from that? Oh, dear. What have they been saying about me in that backwater village? No, no, go on. I'm curious now. Tell me, what do you think? I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Eat you. Oh, great goddess. Is that what you think I've been doing to the maidens you give me? Gobbling them up like some ill-mannered troll. <laughs> now that is rich and entirely false. As I said, I have no intention of harming you. In fact, I hope we'll get along in time. You seem skeptical. Darling, hasn't anyone ever told you that Faye can't lie? I couldn't even deceive you if I wanted to. And besides that, I don't want to. In fact, I would hate to make a bad first impression on such a beautiful maiden. No, no. What I want is far more noble. I want you to come home with me. Don't look so surprised. Being an immortal gets lonely after a few centuries, and someone like you could keep me entertained for a long time. Beautiful and headstrong. Why, you're exactly what I've been looking for. Come back to the Fey Realm with me, and I'll make sure everything you could ever want is yours. All your needs will be met, all your wishes granted, and all I want in return is for you to keep me company. It's a very generous offer if you ask me. What do you say? Fascinating. I offer you the life of your dreams, and still, you would say no. <laughs> My darling, you are quite possibly the most stubborn creature I've ever met. But, no matter. You'll come around in time. Besides, the simple truth is, you don't have a choice. You're mine now, darling. You have been since the moment you were tied up and left alone in my woods. No, don't struggle. You'll just hurt yourself. Don't you think you've had enough rope burn for a lifetime? Oh, my darling. Here, let me calm you down. It's all right. Just take a deep breath and look into my eyes. Yes, that's it. They're beautiful, aren't they? Certainly more colorful than the limited hues found in humans. So very beautiful. It makes you want to keep looking, doesn't it? That's perfectly all right. You can keep looking. Keep staring deep into my eyes. Good. What am I doing? I'm just helping you relax, darling. I hate to see you so upset. Shh, shh. It's all right. You're all right. All you have to do right now is keep looking at me. You can do that, can't you? That's it. Just breathe and look into my eyes and listen to my voice. The more you look, the more you listen, 
the easier it is to breathe deeply and relax. It feels good to relax, doesn't it? Feeling your breathing slow, your muscles lose their tension. Looking into my eyes, hearing my voice guide you, all of it feels so good. That's it, darling. Good girl. Focus on me. Only on me. My voice and my eyes are all you need to pay attention to right now. You can let everything else drift away. All your worries, your fears, your thoughts. They can all just float away like mist on the breeze. You don't need them right now. You can just relax and let everything go. That's it. Doesn't that feel wonderful? Just letting go. Sinking deeper and deeper to the sound of my voice. Yes. Oh, my darling. Are you having trouble keeping your eyes open? Poor thing. I bet it would feel so good to just close your eyes and drift for me. It would feel so good to let your mind go soft and still as you sink deeper. It would feel so good to let go and let me take care of you, wouldn't it? Shh, shh. You can let go. All you have to do is listen and sleep. That's it. Let your eyes fall closed. Let yourself sleep deep and safe and mindless. Good girl. You can just drift now and let my words wash over you. No need to pay attention to them. Just let them float by filling your mind and making you feel so good. My darling, my pet, I'm going to take such good care of you, and I promise you'll enjoy every moment. Come now, let's get rid of these ropes. That's it. Just lean against me. Let me sweep you off your feet. You can rest here, in my arms. Just rest and listen. I love the way you look right now, so far under my spell. So relaxed, so peaceful, so beautiful. You'll do anything I ask, won't you? Believe whatever I tell you. Obey any command I give. <laughs> Luckily for you, all I want right now is for you to tell me your name. Don't think about it. You don't need to think at all. Just say it. Give me your name, pet, and be mine. Yes, that's it. Wonderful job, my pet. Didn't that feel good, giving yourself over to me? I told you you'd enjoy it. And this is only the beginning. Now that I have your name, I own you. Mind, body, and soul. And what a beautiful name it is. I haven't had one like it in a long time. But don't you worry. I promise I'll take very good care of it. Now, my poor, tired pet, it's time for you to sleep. When you wake, you'll be in my palace, and I can show you all the wonderful things that come from belonging to me. But for now, just sleep. Yes, feel your empty mind growing dim, your body giving in to exhaustion. Fall into a deep, deep sleep for me peaceful and calm, 
and safe. Shh. Just sleep. 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 Sweet dreams, my darling pet. <laughs> This fave was written by Bisexual B33, and if I've learned anything, it's that you don't give your name to the mythical creature in the woods, especially if you were tied up and offered to him. But in any case, you know, might be a little bit of fun. Be sure to subscribe up to my friends above, you know, maybe they'll go and take your soul or whatever. In the description, I'll be posting one of their videos too, uh, underneath their name and that. And, uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to myself as well. It really helps out the channel. Or, you know, if you decide to do neither of those things, the most important one of all, take care of yourselves. <laughs> Goodbye.